Hey everybody, it's Michael from Wahoo Comics here with the first of a new video series about how to sell comics on eBay. And I got the idea of this series from a subscriber who reached out to me on Instagram and told me that he's looking to start selling some of his comics on eBay to help him fund the hobby just like I am. And so he asked me if I had any tips. And so I thought I would create this series not only to help him, but also others who might have the same types of questions if they're also looking to sell on eBay. And when he reached out, he said the first question that he has is how do I take pictures for my eBay listings? And so that's what we're gonna talk about today. And I think this is a fantastic question because it's so important to take great pictures for your listings. In fact, I think my pictures are the number one selling point for the books that I put up on eBay. In fact, when I go to make a listing, I don't even attempt to assign a grade to the comics that I put up. I don't describe them as being very fine or near mid or mid grade or low grade, uh, simply because obviously those terms are so subjective and they mean something to different to different people that I don't wanna get caught up in the back and forth of describing something as very fine and then a buyer getting it and contacting me and being frustrated because he's like, ah, this is just actually just fine. You know, I don't wanna deal with returns or complaints. And also, I just don't wanna deal with the anxiety of like looking over this comic that I'm looking to sell and trying to decide, oh man, it's on the borderline of very fine or near mint, what, what, do, I, what do I put? So instead of getting caught up in all of that, all I do in my descriptions, and, and not everybody does this. Yeah, you know, some people definitely grade their books. I just don't feel confident enough in doing that. And so what I simply do is in my listing say, I'm not a professional grader, so please see photos to determine condition. And that's it. And then I take great photos. And I've had no problems selling on eBay and getting what I think is the right value for the condition that I think those books are in. And, but the key, of course, is taking those really great photos. So, of course, the question is, well, how do I take pictures for my listings? Well, practically speaking, I open up the eBay app on my phone and create a listing. And then eBay will allow you to add 12 photos to your listing. And at minimum, I will always put at least 10 photos on my listing. And it's the same 10 photos for every book. And so we're gonna take an example from a book that I recently sold of Web of Spider-Man number one. And so I'll start off by taking a picture of the front cover of the book. And this photo will also serve as the main photo for the listing. So in other words, when somebody went to search for Web of Spider-Man number one, this was the photo that would pop up for them. And after taking a picture of the front cover, I then take a picture of each of the four corners of the front cover and I try to include as much of the spine and the edges as I can so the buyer really knows what they are getting. And after doing that, I simply flip the book over and repeat the process for the back cover. So I take a picture of the full back cover followed by four more pictures of each corner, once again, including as much of the spine and edges as I can. And for 99% of the books, this is enough. And I simply then create the listing. But occasionally, like for this web of Spider-Man number one, there will be a certain flaw that I'm not sure is observable in the regular photos. And so in this case, there is a chip out of the top center of the front cover, and it was just hanging on by a thread. And I wasn't sure if that could be seen in the regular photos. And so I took this additional photo and added it to the listing. And then in the description, I talked about that there was a chip hanging on in the middle of the top front cover. And then, you know, put in parentheses, see the photos. And I always want to disclose all these flaws that I'm concerned might not be seen in the regular photos. Now, first of all, just because it's the right thing to do. I mean, if someone's buying a book from me, I want to make sure as much as I can, they're really getting what they think they're buying. You know, I want to help people find books that they love and that they're happy to be in their collection. That's just 
what I want to do as a seller and where I found a lot of joy in selling is helping people get books that they want in their hands. Uh, but also just from a business perspective, it's the smart thing to do, right? If people get what they're expecting, uh, then first of all, there's a lot less returns that I'm gonna have to deal with. Uh, secondly, they're gonna leave positive feedback. And thirdly, they're gonna return as a customer. So <laughs> beyond even just the ethical uh, reasons to, to disclose all the flaws, there's also the business reasons uh, to do that. And so I, when in the case of this, like where I had to disclose the extra flaw, I'll do that and then I'll create the listing from there. And basically, that's all there is to it. And again, this is the way that I sell my books is through these types of good pictures. So I hope you enjoyed that. And I'm curious if you have any questions about how to sell on eBay, uh, if you would leave those in the comments below, or if you already sell on eBay, if you have any tips, especially when it comes to taking pictures that you found to be helpful. I'll mention one other tip uh, that I use. Again, this isn't necessary, but I feel like my phone's camera is, is okay, but not fantastic. And so I try to take my photos kind of late afternoon or early evening uh, so the lighting isn't too bright, but also not too dark. If you have any other uh, ideas like that or tips, please leave those in the comments below. Uh, and uh, look forward to the next one. Of course, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I'd appreciate if you consider doing so. Uh, once we get to 400 we'll, subscribers, we'll be doing our next giveaway. Uh, like the video, all those things that help out. Again, hope you found this helpful and look forward to doing the next one of these.